How to work with any board with ULN 2003 to drive any unipolar stepped motor? There are different boards using ULN 2003 transistor, but must connect similar. We recognize a unipolar stepped motor because it has five or six wires. In either case, four wires are ground and the rest one or two are positive or 5 volt current. Now, how to recognize which is which? First, we need a multimeter to measure ohms. If we read between the positive and ground wires, we will have half the reading compared to the read between ground to ground. For example, if ground and ground reads 4, then ground and positive will read 2. Now we have to find the sequence of the four ground cables. First, we have to connect the positive wire to 5 volts. Then, touch one by one ground wire until the motor turns four times in the same direction. Then you know the right sequence. How to connect it? First, identify the 5 pin motor connector. The first pin on the left is going to be the 5 volt and the rest four are ground. On the six wire motor, identify the two positive wires and link them together. And the four ground wires, place them in sequence. Now we need an external power supply. Connect the five to 12 volts max into the board and the ground into the Arduino, as well the board ground to the Arduino. And now let's connect the driver board into the Arduino board. We will use the uh, one, two, three, four pins on the board connected into the Arduino board uh, 2, 3, 4 and 5. You can copy the code directly from my site, jumpingkit.com. Ok, this is the most basic code. We have two different setups, one for small motors like the 5 volts 28 byj and other for a little large motor like the 12 volts. In either case, we start setting pins number 2, 3, 4 and 5 as a output and then set it to low. On the loop, first set 2 milliseconds delays per loop. On the case number 1, set pin number 2 high and all the rest set to low. Next. Case number 2, set pin number 3 high and all the rest set to low. Next, case number 3, set pin number 4 high and all the rest set to low. And finally, case number 4, set pin number 5 high and all the rest set to low. Then start case number 1 again. Now, for a large motor, we set two pins to high at the same time alternatively. First, change delay for 9 milliseconds. On case number 1, set pin number 2 and 5 high and all the rest set to low. Next, case 2, set pin number 2 and 3 high and all the rest set to low. Next, case number 3, set pin number 3 and 4 high and all the rest set to low. And finally, case number 4, set pin number 4 and 5 in high and all the rest set to low. Then, start 
again case number one of direction. Each number is one step. In this case, this model needs 2048 steps to make one complete turn. So, thank you for watching.